I'm Kip from Everything Attachments and we're here to show you how to use the United HHD box blade. As you can tell, this one's well used. It's mine. I keep it at home all the time. Uh, it's a tool I'd never be without because it's just good for almost everything, it seems like. You've got uh, your ripper shanks here that are adjustable. They're in their highest position now. They do have replaceable points. Uh, and one of the most important things about a box blade, if you, if you just want to level dirt or gravel, it isn't really going to matter, but if you actually want to cut a ditch or move some dirt, this curved cutting edge is very important. A lot of the cheap blades just have a flat piece of steel, and there's about 10 times the price difference in a flat piece of steel and in this hardened curved edge here. So that curved edge is just essential to be able to actually cut the dirt and fill your box blade up with the dirt that you want to move to another area. So loose stuff you can move with a flat edge, but that's about all they're good for. I recommend always getting one with a curved edge. Good replaceable tips with a Ford shank. So we're going to knock down this pile of dirt, spread it out real quick, and then we're going to angle our drawbar arms really steep, show you how you can cut a ditch for drainage. Adjusting the top link is going to have a big a big effect on whether it's digging in or floating over the top when you're when you're backing up and pulling forward. So right there was a low spot already just got filled in. Always try to get a box blade or as many implements as you can with a clevis hitch instead of a pin hitch. It's going to be twice as strong and be easier to hook up uh, on your drawbar arms. So with that curved edge, it cuts right into the dirt, collects a big pile of it, and you're able to spread it like you want to. So unlike a cheap box blade that doesn't have replaceable ripper shanks or replaceable edges, when they're worn out, you basically throw away your whole tool, where this one can be continually rebuilt for years and years of use. To do some really deep ripper action, we're going to shorten this top link up. Let it down, peanut. I'll pick up on it. I'll let it back there. So we're tilting up the back of this blade and we're angling these teeth down where it's really going to get its most ripping effect. If you're doing it, if you need to box blade on top of grass without the rippers, you're not going to do anything. Here, all the way.
way one direction as far as we can. Lift up just a little bit, hang on. So that we can uh, cut a ditch or a drainage way or just an angle on the side of the road. Hey, Kevin, uh, get in this direction here and go that way a little bit. So now with the rippers fully down and with a lot of angle on it, You can see how he's able to cut a ditch and then by the time he turns around comes back with another angle on it or does this twice and puts another angle you could really have a big ditch. So if you've got drainage problems and you need it to go this is the way to do it. So you could have a one-sided ditch or a big V ditch if you decide to come back down at the other direction. So a little bit of cleanup work and you have a perfect ditch and get rid of that water that's been standing. So now we're going to level it back out and cover up this ditch just so I won't have to mow over it later. So now we put our ripper teeth back up, we're smoothing our ditch back out that we cut and we're just going to clean this area up here where we can plant some grass on it. Pushing backwards with that back edge is probably one of the best and most important things to be able to do well with a box blade. And having that curved cutting edge on the back is just a must to really be able to do anything besides scrape over it. a box blade even though it's a simple device that's probably one of the most asked questions I get on a daily basis so you can see in less than 15 minutes we've leveled that big pile of dirt we've cut a ditch if you needed a drain line we've done some ripping if you were going to move a lot of hard dirt where you could rip it up good and move it We've totally smoothed it back out. So that is the most universal tool that I know of is a box blade. We're fixing to hook to some pallet forks next. And the box blade is always your best tool to have on the backs to give you, give you a little counterweight.